Home opener trending towards a sellout. I don't know how that can't give you goosebumps. We are joined now on the Bronco Roundup Game Day show by Cody Gogler, the senior associate athletic director here at Boise State. I got to say, man, you, you seem pretty calm right now. The, the calm before the storm, if you will. <laughs> well, I think we're going to call it calm before the chaos today, Jay. I see what that you did blue there. chaos as we get ready to roll here today with all the uh, new elements that we have and the new blue chaos flag. Uh, Cody. Tell us what went into this offseason, how much energy, effort, and more than anything, passion you guys poured into enhancing the game day experience, and how was Bronco Nation actually a little bit a part of that? Well, first of all, you look great. I love your game day <laughs> get up. Love your attire. Um, man, Jay, I just can't tell you how grateful and proud we are for our team and their efforts. We began working on the 2022 football season the Monday after we played New Mexico, which is our season finale last year, senior night. And we really broke everything down into three areas. What does tailgating look like? What is the pregame experience? How do we get our student athletes during pregame warmups completely jacked and fired up, ready to play a football game? But when our fans walk inside of these gates, let's make sure that we can make their experiences as lead as possible. So if I could use two words that we focused on throughout this entire process, energy and experience. And just, uh, man, when you talk about the pregame tailgate, the Ford fan zone, the in-game concessions, the video board, the blue chaos flag, we've got a lot of uh, new elements planned for today. We're really excited. I know that, um, Cody, you, you weren't here for the previous administration, but is there any way that you can maybe give people at home um, a little bit of an example of how, of how much different it is now? Because I got to say, these, these are storylines that we're almost covering for the first time. Um, it, it truly shows how much you want to make this place an enjoyable place to come. And the thing that I personally think is cool about it too is you're not relying solely on the product on the field. You're trying to win just like they're trying to win. Sure. You know, and I, and I would say, Jay, um, just credit to all of those that have come before this administration, our fans. Um, this is an elite fan IQ. This is an elite city. This is a football town. So whenever you put things in motion, you know, 90% of the effort is already done because our fans are awesome. Mm -hmm. Once we kick off, it's going to be loud in here. It's going to be energized. But when you look at our mentality and how we want to plan out the game day experience, every second of the experience for our fans matters from the time that they log onto our website in the morning to get their tickets onto their phone, plan their route to the stadium. You know, I got here early this morning and walked up to the parking attendant that was probably going to be the busiest person in the, in the tailgating lot and uh, just reminded that individual how grateful we were for them. They're going to be the first person to say hello to Bronco Nation when they drive in these parking lots today. So from that first touch point all the way through tailgating and our Bronco walk and the Ford fan zone to getting this this crowd energized and ready to go, it makes a difference and it impacts the opportunity for our student athletes to have a home field advantage, which we take very seriously. Whether it be you, Mike Walsh, uh, Jeremiah Dickey, the athletic director, you guys, I don't even know if you ever sleep <laughs> to, in order to pull all this off. Well, you know, when you're doing what you love and you have great people, it makes it uh, it makes it that much more easier. It makes it a lot of fun. You know, I look over here and I look at Dominic Sheldon who oversees our creative <laughs> services team. I, that's someone who really never sleeps. But, you know, our ticket sales team, gosh, I mean, we're 500 tickets away from a sellout today. Justin Rogers, Jake Mankin, uh, Daniel Calhoun, and, and Jeremy Malinus. And I could just go down the whole list. Uh, I'm just so grateful to be a part of this team. And, and uh, when you get the opportunity to wake up every day and do something that you love, I mean, when you turn around and see this, this is elite. So I'm so proud to be a part of it. Yeah, we're going to hear from Jake Mankin in just a little bit. 500 tickets away from a sellout for an FCS opponent. Like, uh, uh, that's not lost on me. I've covered this team for a long time. That's a big accomplishment. One of the new traditions on game day is the raising of the, of, of the, of the blue chaos flag. And for the home opener, Quentin Michael, an all-time great at Boise State, is going to have the honor of doing that. Moving forward, how will you pick who raises the flag, and will you always reveal it prior to kickoff, or will it turn into a bit of a surprise eventually? You know, we're going to let let this play out organically. Okay. Um, as we as we build this new tradition, um, obviously we've got great letter winners all over the country. You know, several of them are still playing. You know, at the highest level, so. It'll be a combination of seeing who will be in town, you know, whether it be a reunion weekend for another sport program, uh, whether it be a local celebrity. Um, we don't want to put a cap on it just yet, but um, you know, we know that you know getting that information out and getting our fans excited is part of that game day process. So uh, really uh, excited for for Quentin to come out today 
and uh, and get this new tradition started. We'll have the live decibel meter up on the video board. I, I don't know where we'll land. You know, we're hoping we can get over 100 decibels to get this thing rolling. Mm -hmm. And uh, it'll be very emotional for all of us to see that flag go up. And uh, let's create the most energetic atmosphere in the country beginning today. Hey, you heard it right there from Cody Gogler. The challenge has been set, Bronco Nation. 100 on the decibel meter. Man, the blue is looking beautiful today. Cody, we'll get you out of here on this one. Any other things the fans should be eagerly anticipating as uh, the countdown to kickoff continues when they get here at Albertson Stadium? What else should uh, fans be super excited about as, as they settle into their seats? Sure. You know, first, uh, today's the Stripe the Stadium game. Mm -hmm. So um, for those that have tickets, make sure you check broncosports.com slash football game day. We've got a map right on the uh, on the website there that shows you what color you should wear and in, in, in for your particular section. Um, and then beyond that, just make sure you check out our new concessions this year. We've got all new signage. We've got Blue 32 Barbecue. Um, yesterday at uh, about 6.30 in the morning, uh, we, were, we were over in the concessions area eating brisket nachos, getting our first glimpse into what that's going to be like. It's really, uh, it's really tasty, really good. Um, and then come check out the Locals Corner just behind sections 10 and 11 where we'll have local breweries, uh, some of our local flavor when it, when it comes to beer sales and, and, uh, and food. So uh, just, just uh, really get here early, get in as soon as you can because because we want everybody to soak in this afternoon yeah. game. I know we haven't had a ton of them, but more so than anything, um, you know, our call to action for our fans is to uh, create chaos. Championship home field advantage, overwhelming sound. I tell you, Cody, you've done a tremendous job. We appreciate you joining us in the Bronco Roundup Game Day Show, the first of many times, I assume. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. Go Broncos.